BBC World News, the biggest African and international news stories. Focus on Africa. Hello, I'm Sophie Ikenya. Welcome to Focus on Africa, our top stories. The United Nations has revealed that over a dozen of their local UN staff have been detained in Ethiopia. 26 children who died in a school fire in Niger's southern city of Maradi on Monday have been buried. One boy who came running, his shirt burning on his back, he gripped me and kept saying, it's very hot, auntie, it's very hot. I'm Peter Kocha live in Glasgow. We're well into the second week of crucial climate change talks in uh, COP26. Today the focus is on gender, science and innovation. I've been speaking to the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations and she says women and children must be a focal point in the fight against climate change has been immense and that also has fallen on the shoulders of, of women and children. Our multilateral development banks need to step up on this, uh, they need to lead, they need to be ahead of the curve and not behind. Thanks for joining us on the program. In the past hour, the United Nations has revealed that over a dozen of its staff members and dependents have been detained in the Ethiopian capital, uh, Addis Ababa. A spokesman uh, said Ethiopia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs um, had been asked to uh, release them immediately. It is yet not clear why they are being held. Last month, seven senior UN officials were expelled after being accused of meddling in Ethiopia's affairs. A year-long conflict in the north of the country has led to numerous accusations that Tigrayans have been arbitrarily arrested, something that the government denies. Now, the UN has spoken out about human rights abuses and has accused the government of impeding, impeding the delivery of aid to millions uh, of victims of war. Well, let's now bring in our senior Africa correspondent, Anne Soy. She joins me now uh, from Nairobi. Uh, what's the latest on uh, this situation, Anne? 